Hello and welcome to the Inside Track. I'm Kyle Caldwell, Deputy Editor of Money Observer, and today I'm joined by James Thompson, Manager of the Rathbone Global Opportunities Fund. So James, you invest globally, so you can invest anywhere in the world. Um, where, where are the opportunities you're finding are present? Well, that's what I love about running a global fund, is it gives me the flexibility to go wherever I need to find the best investment ideas. We tend to focus on developed markets. The US, Europe, UK, and a tiny uh, smattering in Asia. I like to focus on developed markets because I think that's where I have the most edge and expertise. And I think it's important to hold your hands up and say where you don't have the skills to invest. And, and for me, that's emerging markets. I think you're better off going to another fund manager for emerging market exposure. But uh, that doesn't mean I'm short of ideas. I think some of the most exciting companies in the world are found uh, in the US and, and in Europe. Uh, so I have increasingly been buying companies in America, uh, companies in the technology sector, uh, companies in consumer uh, uh, and industrial companies. Uh, I'm avoiding companies in the commodity areas, uh, companies that are very exposed to the economic cycle, uh, which I think is increasingly unreliable. And I found good ideas in Europe also, but we've, we've taken our U.S. weighting up to two-thirds of the fund uh, in recent months. That's as high as I'm going to go because I want this to be a, a global fund, not just a U.S. fund. But uh, we are finding truly exciting, innovative ideas that I think will make us a lot of money over the long term. Are you, at the moment, focusing on so-called recession-resistant stocks? Yes, and, and a part of this was a reaction to you know, pretty dreadful performance I had 10 years ago in the great financial crisis of 2008. And I came out of that year and I said, you know, I need to get better as a fund manager. Uh, I need to add in some risk management, some weatherproofing to this fund, which was frankly too adrenaline filled in those days. And so I dedicate anywhere between 15 and 25 percent of the fund in these recession resistant businesses, companies that aren't as closely linked to the economic cycle where the demand is more predictable. Uh, growing less quickly, admittedly, uh, but uh, something more uh, reliable and sustainable about the demand profile. And so, yes, I have been increasingly investing in this area as I see macroeconomic growth as unreliable. Uh, like an airplane flying close to stall speed, I think we could potentially get some quite severe drops and then uh, quick rises again. So we want balance through the portfolio. And so I have uh, put about 25% of the fund in these recession-resistant businesses. And that can include everything from uh, health care to food and beverage businesses, um, care homes, uh, pest control businesses. Last year I bought a, a garbage business uh, in the U.S. that collects your garbage. Uh, and I uh, have recently bought a pawn shop, uh, actually a very counter-cyclical business. Uh, so we are leaning in on those more recession-resistant businesses, uh, but that doesn't mean I'm short of ideas across the rest of the portfolio. We're fully invested.